what's up y'all yep give you a little update on the old mud mower the old tried and true mud mower this thing has been going three years now non-stop romp and now has a fresh paint job yep went ahead and gave her an all new fresh paint job for the Saturday's mud bog why I painted it I have no idea I'm really not too big on this collar but it is what it is it's already painted so we're gonna cover it with mud as much as we can so hopefully it does good I have no idea how it's gonna do in actual deep swampy mud hopefully but we're gonna find out got the new upgraded wheels on the front custom hubs yeah those should cut through the mud a lot better than the wide ones damn I already picked something up oh no huh I have no idea what that is but at least it's not a nail so that's good I got tubes in them anyway so it's not a big deal yeah this paint cherry red with red metallic I don't know how well we're going to get this yeah you can kind of see it sparkly yeah even the earth cleaner painted it too I'm going to make a shield to go uh, the block the front in case of mud waves yeah sparkly and of course it's already dirty on there because the kids been playing on it but whatever it's not going to be clean for much longer but that is a lot of metal flake on it uh, one thing I do need to do is get another bulb for this light the bulb burned out no big deal because I've got these uh, those and I've noticed a couple of the small little LEDs have already starting to fry but what do you expect for two dollar lights whoop de doo yeah. and of course you know I've changed it back to a regular lawnmower style battery uh, still got the junk pulley under it, which I'm probably going to leave, leave it alone for right now. Uh, I need to hook that bungee back up. But Yeah, I've even, uh, that little, this mount right here is for my flag. I don't know how you can see it, but I got a flag that slides into there. And this mount right here is for a pole mount for my GoPro. That is absolutely a failure. But I will have the flag, and since it's a mud bog, to where I have to wear a helmet, I'll just put the GoPro on my helmet. So, yeah. Yeah, I noticed uh, when I was cleaning it and painting it, I didn't even notice how bad this fender was. That fender's completely buckled. You can see how well you can see it. Yeah. You can see how bad that rear seat pan is. The fenders and all. Got a big buckle here. Got a dent right here. That's from when it was, got rolled over. I don't know how well you can see that. You can barely see it. This is all scratched up pretty good. And got a dent right here. That was all from being rolled over. Got another dent right there, huh? A few more dents right into here. Damn. Yeah. And of course, yeah, this whole fender is just all beat up. So I didn't even bother trying to give it a perfect paint job. I just wanted it to look somewhat good. Ugh. Clean the motor up a bit and yes it does leak oil still I don't really care it can blow up for all I care because this motor is getting old it has been uh, abused three years straight ungoverned still hold in there you can't beat the good old tried and true 11 horse Briggs with the uh, uh, oh what the hell is it the counterbalance yeah, them things will take a lot of abuse, but when they do blow, they blow. It'll destroy the block when it does. Which I look forward to it once it does finally go. Because I got a V-twin that'll probably go on this. Or an opposed twin, either one. Damn, even that column. I just noticed that, that column. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. You can see the, the crease right there. That's all dented in. Huh. Yeah, this tractor's had a lot of abuse. It's got a lot of frame flex. It's just been abused and still going. Daddy. 
Just can't beat it though. It's been a damn good tractor. It really has. It's been a lot of fun on it. And it's going to continue to have fun. Because it's indestructible damn near. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, make a quick, quick little video on it. Fresh paint. Uh, come out to Oakland City. Of course, uh, I'm in Indiana. On the Saturday, which is June 11th. Come on out for the mud bogs. For the mowers. I'm going to go out there with this. i got a couple of our friends that are going. I'm debating on throwing the, uh, the full-size Gilson together. And taking it out there and seeing what it does in stock form pretty much. But uh, this year's going to be the star of the show for me. I still got to letter it up a bit. Put a few, put my MCR on it. Maybe a few other little things here and there that it's been needing. But for the most part, it's ready to go. So there you have it, just a quick little walk around. See you at the mud bogs, y'all. Later.